Hi, my name is Eamon Malachny. I'm from Ballythomas, our crony Neil County Bury here in our Republic of Ireland. Um, I'm a dairy farmer who also rears store cattle. Um, we're farming 111 hectares, all grass apart from a small bit of maize and wheat. We're milking uh, <coughs> 95 Holstein cows, we say, with a scatter of jerseys thrown in as well. The average yield is um, 10,000 kilos at 4% fat and 340 protein, 780 kilos combined solids, uh, mainly spring calving. Um, all calves are kept, <coughs> kept apart from the Jersey bull calves, of course, but um, everything else is reared here on the farm, either for beef or for replacement stock, either that the female side or as pedigree bulls. Basically, the cows are calved from January up until about March, fed pretty simple diet basically it is once we get to the spring it is grass based mostly with a small bit of buffer up until around June when most of the cows would be in calf. The winter diet consists of silage, high dry matter silage, a blend, high protein blend with beet and some straw for fibre. Um, later on in the year when they go to grass they're buffer fed with maize. Why I'm here today is to talk about why I started into using Solback. It was brought to my attention by a friend of mine. Um, he asked me what I think about using it. <coughs> I hummed and hawed for a while um, and I inquired around. I was meant to do an awful lot of receding because we said the pasture has been out for a long, long time. So I said, you know, I'd give it a try. I said, you can't take secondhand advice. The only way you'll know anything is try it yourself. So we said, this is my coming my third year using it. It's through the slurry which I use and go out in January. So far, I've been terrible happy with it. There's one set of paddocks over here that's out 35 years, and they have outgrown the paddocks, the freshly grown paddocks. Where it really showed true to me last year was in the height of the drought, that where the solback had been spread. The grass never died, and that sort of proved to me that the roots had gone down deep enough to access the moisture and the nutrients. And once the rain came then it took off also again, like, and it definitely outgrew, I'd say, probably better a ton to the hectare, we say, on the newer grass. We say my reservations probably when I started to use it first was it was launched in 2012 or 2012. I started in 13. I had very few people that I could actually go to for an independent view. Um, I talked to John Bergen, who had been using it, and John highly recommended it. You know, uh, it's like any new product, you know, you, you talk to people and they tell you, oh, Jesus, fools and their money are easily separated, like so. I said the best way of figuring out anything was to try it myself the one year. If I seen a difference, then I knew I wasn't taking second-hand information. Yeah, because we said it was a, a, a big outlay to start off with, like the product was expensive you know, initially, like, but when you put it over the amount of slurry that it makes, it brings back the cost an awful lot. But usually with farmers, it's when you hear the first price, that's when you get the heart attack. But um, I've been very happy with it. I've had dozens, and that's not an exaggeration, of people come here, inquire from me what I thought of it, was I happy with it, would they use it, would it do the same for them? Um, all I could tell them was my story. My grass growth has been good. Yields have been up. Meal has been slightly back, definitely slightly back this year with the price of milk. But my, still my average yield is going to hold the same. So all I can say from, is from my experience, I have been very happy with it. I'm not telling anyone else to use it, but if they want to ask about it and want to use it, I would recommend it totally, totally anyway. Like, so I can say no more than that, only that I've been very happy with the product and I hope to stay using it in the future.